Dell 13 5378. It's a touchscreen laptop, seventh generation i3. Fans not sort of responding basically. So let me just do this. There's a um, core temperature, temperature utility here and Intel CPU just to sort of ramp up the temperature quickly. So we'll start the test and see what's going on and keep an eye on the temperature. Let's just get this glare off the screen. Okay. And see it'll hit up to about 65. Seven, it, it will hit up to 8, 90 degrees Celsius, no fan spin. 70, no fan spin. 80 degrees Celsius, near enough. That's for a moment. Yep, course temperature, no fan spin. I'm going to stop the test just so that I'll end up destroying the Intel CPU. And I'll tell you why it's doing what it's doing right okay so the temperature will drop but still no fan spin and the reason being for that is there's a stupid sensor on on here let me get a bit of light just there there's a sensor right in the middle of the screen there's a sensor and let me see if I can poke it there Right, it's like a little, little, um, uh, like a little clip type of sensor, and uh, that's actually f that's not making contact with the heatsink, and because it's not making contact with the heatsink, and there's a very, very fine gap in between the two, um, it, it's not reading the temperature, which is not getting passed on to the controller, basically, for the controller to release the voltage for the fan to work. So that's what your problem is on this this uh, model. If the fan's not uh, turning on or the system's sort of running for a bit and then just freezing or there's artifacts on the screen, um, usually it's a sign of a, a chipset a, a gra graphic section of the CPU failure, but this has suffered artifacts and everything, but the laptop is still working. So what the, the, the solution to this is to take Turn the laptop off, disconnect the battery, take this off, the four, undo the four screws and slightly lift that clip up just so that, that it can start making contact with the heat sink again, basically. Uh, make sure they don't break them because they're very, very sort of flimsy. So, right, the fan's off. Okay, let's... Battery's obviously disconnected. Be careful that you don't leave the battery connected when you're messing around with these sort of things. It's absolutely critical. Let's go under the microscope and show you what's going on, basically. All right. Let's see if I can get an angle, which may may not be able to. There you go. That's the clip. The SPR, sorry, yeah, SPR4, basically. That needs to be raised a little bit. So we can just about see that the clip is all kind of flattened. So that needs to be raised ever so slightly, but be careful that you don't lift it too far up because there is a cat, there is a little um, thing that's holding it underneath there. Let me sort of see. I'm sorry about the camera angles and the zoom. I'm using my mobile phone to do this. I've got no intentions of bringing all the gears out today because I've got a long, long day. Just on inside there, there's a little little thing that's holding this up basically so make sure you don't sort of pull it apart but just about enough so that it makes contact because this is what senses the temperature of the actual heat sink um and and allows the fan to work so let's let me raise this and then uh, i'll put everything back together and test it again maybe i can show you in a better angle let me just see if i can get see that's the clip it's kind of flattened so that needs to be Sadly, this stupid microscope. You get the idea. You've had a glimpse of it, basically. All I'm doing is just lifting, using my hand and raising this up, just pushing it towards towards the right, ever so gently, just so that it's uh, it's getting raised. But ah, you fucking have snapped it. Right, okay, what I ended up doing is I kind of uh, sadly snapped this little clip that was originally on. So I have desoldered that and put it here on my garbage collection. You can just about see it there. Uh, that one. That, that's the little clip that's broken off. So luckily I have donor boards that I can rob these sensor pads, basically. 
There it is, pad uh, 15, where I've robbed one from, and there is another one that I can always utilise from this bay. Board pad 16, these are copper type of some formal connectors, whatever you want to call it, basically, thermal pads, thermal connectors, whatever you want to call it, right, okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting it back together, I put a bit of thermal paste, I'm going to tidy that area up with a bit of cotton board because these are absolutely lifesaver. So let's just tidy this up. All right, and just give it a nice uh, clean as well. Let's grab some alcohol. All right, and just tidy the edges. That's up. Okay, not sure what this is all about, but that pad is on where it should be. That was out of factory, so I've got to sort of give Dell some thumbs up because of putting a pad on the P PCH, basically. All uh, right, let's... Uh, put this on now funny enough these laptop fan don't spin until it reaches about 85 90 degrees celsius as daft as it may and then once it starts spinning it will work it will just carry on working so it, this this initial kick start has to happen basically once it's reached a high temperature so let's uh put this back on and i am going to try and open up the laptop just bear with me all right, so let's power the beast on. Lights on, displays on. I'm gonna plug in the charger to make sure that the battery is charging. Uh, let's wait for it to boot up. So, right, what I will be doing is I'll be probing, for, right, just waiting for the laptop to turn on now after sort of reseating the heat sink. The fan connectors, you've got, uh, let's have a look, the one on the top. So I'll be counting from top down this way. Uh, blue is your pin one, yellow is your pin two, uh, black, which is your ground, pin three, and red is your pin four, which is that one there, basically. So let's sort of see the laptops on, and it should be idling around about 30, 40 degrees, about 40 degrees Celsius. Let's have a look. Slightly more than what I predicted is 47, 51 degrees Celsius. Now, the fan won't kick in at the moment, basically. Now, normally at this mode, You've got uh, five, five point one, five point two volt on pin four, uh, zero volt obviously on your ground, and the uh, yellow pin, which is the second from the top, uh, which uh, which should read around about three point something, three point three volt, something like that, basically. And that the blue pin uh, is where the input signal comes in instruction for the fan to kick in. So what happens then is that that will be in the region of about 0 0.8 volts, something like that. It will fluctuate. That will fluctuate based on the sensors and, and, and the circuit, basically. And that will drop the 3.3 uh, or 3.2 will drop down to 0 0.8 volt. Start running a stress test on it and uh, see what happens, basically. So we're just starting the Intel CPU test utility and uh, the temperature is ramping up. No fan spin at the moment. Okay, and it's ramping up to about 61, 64. No fan spin. Let's just wait for it to reach about stupid temperature. And I mean stupid, stupid. You know, you're talking 90 degrees Celsius before this, this, this thing starts doing its magic to keep the system cool down no fan spin at the moment 76 77 let's just wait there's absolutely no fan spin the laptop used to switch off basically no fan spin yet that's absolutely fucking ridiculous We have fan spin. At what temperature? Absolutely ridiculous that. Look. So we have fan spin. And it's going to switch off. Oh, 
around about 85 degrees Celsius. That's just absolute ludicrously nonsense, that is basically. That's one of the reasons why these CPUs are dying, you know, uh, because the thermal design, they, 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 it should be idling around about, on a stress like this, it should be idling around about 65, 70 degrees Celsius maximum, and the fan should be running. Okay, now let's see what's going on. So we're on 77, 70, say 77, 80 degrees Celsius, and the fan still remains on now so it switched on it's went off and now it's running all the time basically this sequence this start sequence has to happen for the fan to sort of um, carry on doing what it should be doing so i i just think it's just an absolute design flaw basically by these manufacturers now look the fan is still on and it's on 73 70 odd degrees celsius basically and that's how it should be that's how it should be that's the sort of temperature that you'd be looking at basically but as i said the start sequence for the fan is is absolutely ludicrously nonsense basically so yeah there you have it you know the the, the voltage as i said the voltage uh, i have taken the measurements of the voltage those are the following voltage when the fan is off and when it's on basically as i repeat when it's on the, the you will get a voltage of 0 0.8 volt or up and down you know it'll fluctuate depending on on the sensor sensor basically the circuit that's sending out what what speed the fan should run at basically so the, on an average that's 0 0.8 that will drop to about 1.8 or so the second the yellow uh, pin um, and obviously your ground is 0 volt and that will remain 5.2 volt or 5.1 volt continuously basically even the, the the pin four red that that will be 5.2 uh, volt uh regardless whether if the fan is on or not the voltage will always be present so that's something for you to remember as well um but yeah look we're on 68 degrees celsius and the fan is still running and that's how it should be yep so by replacing this 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 uh, clip what was uh bent in um, or it was bent already, whatever it is, uh, it's, 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 it has actually solved the fan issue basically. Now, one other thing that the fan initially was rattling. Now, the old fan I have, uh, I don't know what I've done, there it is, that was rattling. So, there was a common issue with this laptop basically where it was rattling. So, I've had to replace this regardless basically because it was just noisy and rattling. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. That's what you need to look out for. Check those before you jump your guns on anything else be careful when you're handling this heat sink because by pressing on these areas and pushing on these areas you can actually bend that plate back in and sadly that plate isn't bouncy it doesn't bounce back it's not like a spring whereas the clip what i put what, what i what i put in the plate what i replaced it with from the hp laptop that bounces back up basically like a spring so so this is far better even if i press this like this and and let it go that's not going to sort of press and keep the the plate in you know down basically or just bring it back up so yeah i think the problem's been resolved 40 degrees celsius look and we still have a fan spin all right that's all guys hope you learned something take care um and uh, i'll catch up with you on my next video peace bye for now